quick. There's no time. I need 500 cupcakes for Sweetie Pie Preschool's annual bake sale, baked and ready by five o'clock today. Sorry. Wow, you look terrible. You should really go rest. I can't. I need to get these cupcakes done. It's for the kids. <gasps> How about we help with the baking? Every berry needs some berry sometimes, shortcakes. I don't know if that's the best. Huh? <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> oh. Okay, fine. Orange, you're gonna weigh out the dry ingredients here. Lemon, you stand here and combine the wet ingredients, and then we're gonna pass it to Blueberry. Wow, you really captured my aura. Uh, don't worry, we got this. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go rest of the clubhouse. Text me if you need anything. And don't forget, an extra large egg is better than a regular large egg. All right, girls, let's make our sweet, but very easily stressed out, friend proud. Let's yeah. do this. <gasps> it's like looking in a mirror. Blueberry, focus. Did you hear that? It said my name. Hmm, if I use the best methods from each book, I'll make perfect cupcakes. Butter must be super cold, got it? <gasps> huh, wait, this says room temperature butter is best. No recipes, no rules. Just me and Egg Sheeran. Riding. Five cups of sugar? That's unhealthy. How about no cups of sugar? <gasps> and maybe some powdered veggies to add some nutrients. <laughs> Yum. So healthy. Thanks, Custard, but I am not tired, so. That's it. Never leave home without my super duper piping bag 3000. <sighs> I feel so much better, Custard. You know what? It is so nice to have friends who can be there for you and keep you calm, keep you relaxed, keep you freaking out! What did you do? I'm calling it the unbearable icing of being. Ugh. I never made it past the butter. Oh no, I have to deliver 500 cupcakes uh, now, and nothing is done! Sorry, shortcakes. We tried, but we're just not the bakers you are. But how did this happen? You each did something totally different. You did whatever you wanted without any kind of... Wait a minute. That's it? You guys are geniuses! We are. Is she still hallucinating? <laughs> Looks like my build your own cupcake stand is a hit. And honestly, I never would have come up with the idea if you all hadn't messed up so badly. Thank you for being such terrible bakers. And for helping when I needed it. Anytime. <gasps> Lemon, no! <laughs> <laughs> I meant to do that. My costume is perfect. Fright Ball is all about being scary, and a scarecrow literally scares crows! <laughs> right, Custard? <laughs> I overheard Raspberry Tart and the other Mean Berry saying they didn't think I would even wear a costume to the annual Fright Ball Ball. They clearly don't know this berry. Let's show these big city berries. No berry does fright ball like we do. Why are we the only ones dressed up? <coughs> this is my nightmare. Shortcakes, what are you wearing? It's a fright ball ball. Why isn't every berry dressed up? No, this is Peach Trifle's fall ball. But Raspberry Tart said. <laughs> <laughs> nice costume. You're definitely the scariest thing at this party. <laughs> yeah, you really need to stop listening to her. What is going on over here? I'm Peach Trifle. This is my event. You are 
strawberry shortcake. I'm a scarecrow, and this is my crow, Custard. We're dressed up for Frightfall. Ta-da! Costumes and cheap scares aren't really what I'm known for. I throw the grandest parties in Big Apple City. Every berry loves them. No offense, but maybe your party could use some costumes and cheap scares. Excuse me? It couldn't hurt to try. The harvest moon hangs in the sky. Scarecrow scare as crows fly by. Somewhere close, a howling cry. Bright time has begun. This night feels so mysterious. Chills and thrills in store for us. Don't take it too serious. It's, it's time to have some fun. It's a frightful night, so chill and delightful. We're in Austin, scare a friend. Thrills and chills don't have to be. A frightful night, so join in the fun. Delicious and frightacular. Tonight will be spectacular. Ooh. What creature do you want to be? Your creativity and let your inner monster free. And jump and scream, boom! It's kind of fun to be afraid and watch the creatures on parade. Add candy and you've got it made and tricks the whole night through. It's a frightful night, so chill and delightful. Spooky shadows everywhere. Have fun, cut loose, let down your hair. A frightful night, so join in the fun. Delicious and Shortcake Big Apple City's annual fall ball is no more. From this year forward, I shall throw the Fright Ball Frightacular! Hot cross buns! This is horrible! What's with all the yelling? My strawberry pies! I set them out to cool and look! I even put a sign out, hot pies, only eat when cool. But now, some berry decides to come along and gobble them up. This really bakes my bread, you know? Who would do such a horrible thing? Oh, I can find the culprit. Yes! Lime is an awesome detective. Is that a donut? Crack a clue, take a bite. I've read a lot of Apricot Christie mysteries. I know all the tricks to find the who, what, where, when, and hi. Hum. <clears throat> also, I really like donuts. I don't think there are many clues to go on. It's all just a mess. <sighs> yes, this crime scene is a mess. No berry would eat pie like this. We are clearly looking for an animal. An animal? <gasps> This cat's paws don't match the markings in your pies. Therefore, she is innocent. Ha. Wow, you are good. Oh, I'm just getting started. Red Hot the Ferret, our next suspect. He is? What do you know about it? Barrett. Get out of town. Red Hot would never steal from a baker as sweet and generous as Strawberry. Aww. Thank you, Huck. Besides, he's been with me all day. Uh, hey, let us help. Leave no bag of flour unturned, no critter unquestioned, no pie left behind. I 
I was at a dead end. I checked every animal, followed every lead, but I had nothing. Are you narrating right now? Here, Huck, you can have the last bite. I don't deserve it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey, it's okay, Lime. You tried your best. I'll just have to keep a closer eye on... Huckleberry Pie did it! <gasps> I would never! You ate my donut like an animal! Just like the pies. Why would I steal from Strawberry? She gives me pies for free. Um, say what now? Her sign said, hot pies only eat when cool. Strawberry likes my music. She thinks I'm cool. So she leaves those pies out for me. That's not what the sign means, is it? No not even way. a little. Wow. I stole the pies, didn't I? Uh -huh. Yeah, totally. Just wow. Oh, I'm sorry, Strawberry. I really did think those were thank you pies for my smooth and jazzy tunes. I do think you're cool, and your tunes are very smooth and jazzy. <laughs> Just check with me next time. There's still one mystery left. Why do you eat pies like that? Big Apple Fair's pie eating champion, three years in a row. No better way to enjoy a pie. Okay, fairies, on your mark. Get set. Go! <laughs> pies do taste better this way. Another mystery solved. Oh uh, yeah. Oh ho. Strawberry shortcake and her dressy sous chef custard. Custard. Custard? Custard! Shortcake? Huh? What, what is it? Caramel popcorn! I yell when I'm hungry, too. I was busy and Custard wandered off, and now I can't find her, which makes me a terrible person and an even worse cat mom. Popcake always disappears. I think he does laps around the building. I'm pretty sure Parfait eavesdrops. Frappe takes off all the time. You know when I get too chatty. Sup? Cheesecake runs an underground poker game for other animals. She counts the cards. Blueberry Muffin is very creative with her facts. She makes them up. None of you know where your pets are? Hey, hey Frank! Hey! Don't worry, Shortcakes. We'll work together to find all the pets. Thanks. I've studied every inch of the Berry Works. I'll lead the pet rescue. Do we really think the pets wandered in here? Where is here? These are the original storage rooms. It's fascinating, actually. <laughs> Constructed when this was all apple trees, the Big Apple Berry Works led to the small town of Apple Grove becoming Big Apple City. And the apple trees were planted by a magical berry guardian who sprinkled enchanted seeds from high above the clouds. True story. Not true. Custard? <laughs> Custard! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, phew! It's just a painting of Jay Quincy and his wife Henrietta Cupcake. History says her recipes inspired Jay Quincy to start his cupcake factory. Of course, it was the flock of Tutti Fruity Toucans who flew down from the Forbidden Fruitlands that inspired Henrietta. Again, not true. Tutti Fruity Toucans are not an actual breed of bird. That's true. Except in the Forbidden Fruitlands. The Forbidden Fruitlands are not a thing. Okay, okay, I think we should just focus back on what's important here. Yeah, like, why is that whisk upside down? Jay Quincy said great recipes start with whisking. Legends say his whisk was magical and led to his success. That's why he hid it in a secret room and... No, I've researched the berry works for years. No berry guardians, no toucans, no magic whisk, and definitely no secret room. Legends say... History say! All right, all right, enough with the history and the legends. We're here to find the pets, not to talk about why the Berry Works was built, where the secret room is, or why this whisk is upside down. Jay Quincy. 
Lindsay's secret office? I knew it was true. Custard! <coughs> what a cool room! And we never would have found it if it weren't for my kooky cat. <laughs> um... What were you saying about those toucans? Well, legends say that Tutti Fruity toucans can grow as big as airplanes. And they only eat grapes. They don't like anything else. It's really good. Thanks, Custard. This is a very important cupcake order. Now, Custard, I have to finish this special order before tomorrow. It needs to be perfect. Forgot what? This way. Huh. Strawberry. Uh -uh. Forgot. Custard. Earth Day. <laughs> Custard has her own Earth Day. Uh, there's only one Earth Day. Every day should be Earth Day. Earth Day. <gasps> Strawberry forgot Custard's birthday. Oh. Ah, what's up? You forgot Custard's birthday. I did what now? Are we talking about this birthday? The one that's tomorrow? Huh? Uh -uh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Didn't you notice me say these needed to be perfect? Or what the main ingredient was in this important cupcake order? <laughs> Lemon? That's cat food! Meh. Mmm, crunchy. <laughs> I was going to throw a surprise party tomorrow, but since every berry and every pet is here now, I guess we get to have the party a day early. <laughs> Happy birthday, Custard! Happy birthday! <laughs> It's Sweetie Pie's Day. It's Sweetie Pie's Day! AKA the sweetest.
sweetest holiday, AKA the day when I get my sweet friends the sweetest presents I can to show how much I love them. AKA love is in the air. <gasps> a meditation pillow shaped like a chocolate bar. Tranquil and tasty. Oh, I love you bunches, Blueberry. A chocolate trophy? For the sweetest smoothie maker I know. Shortcakes. Orange, you glad I love you, Orange? Get it? Orange? Because your name is. <clears throat> yeah, I'll workshop that a bit. <gasps> a book about chocolate made of chocolate? Lots of love for you! Woo! To Cocoa Bean or not to Cocoa Bean? Day. I just want to give you your Sweetie Pie's Day present. I don't want it! <sighs> Look, it's nothing personal, but personally, I hate Sweetie Pie's Day. <laughs> but why? Sweetie Pie's Day is all about love? Ooh, feelings. Handwritten cards. Ooh, writing about feelings. And hugs! Hugs are the worst. Down with hugs! Lemon? Don't you want to show your friends how much you love them? Of course I do, but Sweetie Pie's Day, it's all about sharing your feelings. Oh, every berry gives me stuff and I don't know what to do or say and it just makes me feel weird. Okay, no feelings. Just open it. A chocolate? You show us you care all the time with your ingenious inventions, like my amazing Berry Berry Oven. So this is my way of saying thank you for all the times you show us how much you care. Your way. Huh. I know, it's Sweetie Pie's Day, and you won't want to talk feelings and stuff, but since I don't want to, I thought I'd show you how much you mean to me instead. With this little invention I like to call the Hug Meister 3000! Hugs aren't my thing, but this guy loves them. Don't look now, but I think you just shared some feelings. Turns out, I like to show I care, just in my own way. Honestly, the best hugs are the ones I don't need to be a part of. Group hug, everybody! Oh, I love you so much! Hurt. The best thing about living in Big Apple City is there's always something amazing happening. Like today, the Berry Works is holding a golden berry challenge. Yeah, I have no idea what it is, but it sounds cool and I am going to win. Let's it up. Every, Every berry, berry touches, touches the golden, golden berry. berry. If you break contact for any reason, you're out. Whoever is left touching it at the end wins the secret prize hidden inside. <laughs> Just us now. We are awesome! Ready to give up? Never! Hey, what do you think is inside of this anyway? Oh, an endless supply of books! <laughs> I'm gonna need more bookmarks. Books? No way! It's a Slicer ZX Kiwisaki Dirt Bike! So 
sorry. There is no way a kiwisaki fits inside that berry. No one does, though. Spark berries. Enough spark berries to fuel my greatest invention. The machine machine. A machine that makes smaller machines. <laughs> <laughs> What? What do the smaller machines do? I will get back to you on that. I bet the prize is a perfect song. So, there's like a speaker inside. No, just a song. It will play once, then disappear forever. That's an interesting theory. What do you think, Strawberry? <gasps> No, no, no. Chocolate chips? No! Sprinkle chips. Woohoo! <laughs> We're coconut flakes with a pinch of. Uh, strawberry? Aw, fiddle faddle! Ha <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> 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 ha! No! Aw, so I guess that means blueberry's the winner? Huh? This pigeon is so interesting. Uh, with no clear winner, I think the prize goes to... The MC! Actually, I think he's the winner. Frappe was stuck there the entire time? I cannot believe we didn't notice that. You did say whoever was left touching it at the end was the winner. Ugh, fine. The frog is the winner. Let's see what's inside. It's a gift card to Guava Spava. That's really so boring. Nice? A gift card might not be what we had our hearts set on, but maybe it's exactly what Frappe wanted. What would a frog possibly want with a gift card to a spa? Cranberry jam says the most important ingredient in any dish is love. Unless that dish is gooseberry pie. Then it's gooseberries. Nutritious, delicious, and makes me ambitious. I'm training for the all-city cherry thon, and nothing gets me amped like gooseberry smoothie. I need some quality gooseberries to nail this recipe. Fortunately, Orange Blossom told me there's only one place in Big Apple City to get good gooseberries. Mr. Mangosteen's Fruit Stand. Good, good morning, morning, Mr. Mangosteen. Morning, girls. What can I do for you? One, one carton, carton of gooseberries, please. I'm sorry, girls, but I just sold out. Last batch is going to Mrs. Crumbcake all the way across town. Oh. No. Of course, it was a big order. I bet she'd have enough berries left over for just one more recipe. <gasps> oh, there goes my delivery boy now. You should have the berries. You told me about the fruit stand. Uh, no, you should have them. I insist. Okay, bye. Seriously? Orange is fast. <laughs> and on your left, you can see Sunberry who will not be getting any gooseberries today. <laughs> no pictures. Wow. Shortcakes is resourceful. Orange is fast, but hey, she's not gonna beat a bus, right? <laughs> Please tell me she won't. I'll save you some berries! Yeah, it uh, really, really gets crowded in here, doesn't it? I know, right? 
Complaining? That's unfair. Unfair? You got on a bus. That's a really good point. I need wheels. Girls, what can I do for you? Gooseberries! If, if I, I don't, don't get, get them, them, I can't, can't make tripod and I'll lose my baby confidence forever! Oh dear, I was just going to use them to make juice for my granddaughter. Glammy Crumb Cake says gooseberry juice will make me big and strong. You know what? It's not a big deal. <laughs> uh, I think we're at the wrong house. Enjoy that gooseberry juice. So, that got weird. It did. You wrote an ostrich. I did. We got a little carried away. No berry is worth all that. Totally, totally. Especially since elderberries would be a great substitute in a pie anyway. Oh yeah. I mean, they have the same nutritional value as gooseberries. I saw one last star at Mangosteen's. <laughs> Over here, yes. Um, okay. Or here? Oh, I don't know. How are you settling in at the very works? Still a little nervous. <laughs> nervous? Me? <laughs> no. <laughs> what would what would make you think that? Well, you've moved those same bowls back and forth ten times. I've been here like a minute. Oh. Pre-baking nerves run in the family. Fortunately, I knew just what she needed. Here, this should help. And Praley, you didn't have to get me a... <coughs> a dusty old spoon. Huh. Thanks. This is, uh... What baker doesn't need an extra spoon? Hmm? No berry. No berry has a spoon like this one. It's been passed down in our family from baker to baker, berry to berry. It's special. Lucky. And it'll be your most prized appliance <laughs> once you get the hang of it. Ha! Get the hang of it? It's a spoon! Train me in your ways. Let's begin. Truth Fairy, I did think the spoon was kind of weird at first, but holding it makes me feel like generations of bakers have my back while I bake. Check it out. This spoon has definitely upped my game. Mm, mm. Yes, I can hear them now. The family is definitely proud. 
now that I've mastered the ways of the spoon, I feel like I can handle whatever the berry works throws at me. Oh, mastered. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. Oh, come on. <laughs> I mean, what else could there possibly be to... <laughs> Uh, That's enough for today, young Barry. It takes a lifetime to truly master the spoon. Ah! Le Creme is coming! She is the food critic for the Big Apple City Galette. A review from her can make or break a Barry's baking career. I'm gonna have to pull out all the pops on this one. See what I did there? Cake pops, because, yeah. All right, Custard, we are as baked and ready as we'll ever be for Genoise La Creme. I wonder what she looks like. Hey, girl! Excited for Genoise La Creme? Sure am. Since you're new, we just wanted to make sure you're ready. We did? Ugh. I thought you two would love nothing more than for me to fail and have to lug my truck back to Berryville with my sfoglia tail between my legs. See what I did there? Sfoglia tail Tail? No? Anyway, we have our differences, but the more good reviews we can get from Genoise, the better it'll be for every berry at the Fairy Works. Well, then thanks. Okay, then I'm going to keep an eye out for Genoise. <gasps> uh huh! That short, buttercream colored hair, obnoxiously bright floral print shirt. That's not what she. Right! And her hideous, wide-brimmed hat. Whoa! Yeah, that is not how I picture Genoise at all. But I guess you can't judge a berry by their career-ending critical commentary. Thank you! <laughs> I, uh... Hello there! I'm Strawberry Shortcake. Well, hey, sugar! I'm... I know who you are! <laughs> Allow me to sweep you off your sweets, Cake Pop. I can't believe she fell for it. While Strawberry woos that random grandma, I'll get the real Genoise La Creme to myself. Oh, there she is. Head sugar cake my day. <laughs> oh, today was just the tastiest treat. <laughs> you sure know how to bake some berry feel special strawberry shortcake. Oh, you stop it. <laughs> Be sure to share those cupcakes with your grandberries. Ooh, rough day. To put it mildly. Well, I bet it is nothing a cake pop can't make better. Here you go, on the house. That's Genoise La Creme? <laughs> Shoulda known. <laughs> At the Berry Works, the cake pop is king. Or should I say queen? The sugary purveyor of the extraordinary berry not only makes a divine dessert, but refreshingly treats all of her guests from food critics to out-of-town grandmas like VIPs. Two crumbs way up. Woo! Not bad for a day's work, Strawberry. <laughs> there, there. You scared the strawberries out of me. That's the idea. It's nearly frightful. It's my first frightful in Big Apple City. I need to come up with a creepy. Cup. Cake. I 
I'm sure you'll come up with something frightfully fitting. <laughs> oh, if you see the ghost, say hi for me. <clears throat> I'm sorry, the what now? <gasps> Blueberry, wait up! <sighs> uh, hold on. <laughs> Did you say ghost? Yep, J. Quincy Cupcake. He was the owner of the Berry Works when it was still a cupcake factory. Oh, J. Quincy was a perfectionist who checked every cupcake for the tiniest blemish. I'm gonna throw him that! Some folks say his spirit still roams the Berry Works at night. Oh, judging any baker working late. And alone. But you've never actually seen J. Quincy Cupcake's ghost, right? Huh? Oh, golly, I wish. I've tried to meet him for years. Maybe tonight you'll be the lucky berry. Have fun. Okay, a cupcake obsessed ghost. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Great, great, great. Yeah. Not creepy at all. <laughs> Strawberry shortcake is scared of ghosts. Let's give her a frightful treat she will never forget. Ooh, okay, it's fine. It's totally fine. You're just gonna grab your lucky spoon and bake. There is absolutely nothing to be scared of. Ooh, just the lights, Strawberry. It's just the lights. Stop squeezing! Oh, it's just a plant. <laughs> Oh, it's a rusty sign, Strawberry. <laughs> You're just gonna, gonna get it together. <laughs> be like Blueberry, be like Blueberry, be like Blueberry. Holy hazelnuts! You're never gonna find inspiration for Scary if you're too scared to be inspired. <sighs> Calm down. All right, what's that? Bad plumbing, seriously? <laughs> ah! It is I, Jay Quinty. Who dares bake in my present? Who means? No, no baking here! It is you! Strawberry shortcake! <laughs> one time I don't want to be recognized for my baking. No one likes your gross country treats. Go back to Berryville! <laughs> <laughs> Yaha! The universe told me Strawberry was the lucky berry, and now I finally get to meet the ghost of the berry works. Put her there, Mr. Cupcake. Hey. <laughs> oh, hey. Ah. Oh, have you met Strawberry Shortcake? She's a perfectionist, just like. Huh? Hello. Well, this is the J. Quincy Cupcake. Oh, we should try one of your cupcakes. No, Blueberry, they're hot. That's fine. I've got ice cream fingers, and he's a ghost. Ow! That's hot. <laughs> You three are the reincarnated spirit of J. Quincy Cupcake? <sighs> I knew it. Raspberry tart? Sour grapes? Bread pudding? Why are you trying to scare me? <gasps> That's it! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Ow. Just checking. It's my spooky surprise cake. Each bite has a new hidden flavor waiting to shock you. Raspberry, then grape, then bread pudding filling. Mmm, that is terrifyingly tasty. How did you ever come up with it? Really, Blueberry? We were together the whole time. Now that is a winter swirl tree. <sighs> All right, let's get to it. Hmm, quick question. Why is Sour Grapes attacking the tree? She decorates it every year. Winter swirl. <laughs> Whoa. Deck the halls. This tree is like my soul. But, but, but winter swirl trees should be magical glowing beacons of hope! Isn't there any berry else who could... Hold this going. I've got an idea. Lemon would be great, but she's gonna say no. Why? Lighting a tree seems like a totally lemon thing to do. Whoever decorates the tree has to give a speech at the tree lighting. Lemon? Not really an outgoing berry, so why are you making that face? You know who is an outgoing berry? Me! <laughs> who better to turn lemon into the perfect public speaker? Hi! Yeah, we've decided you're decorating the winter swirl tree this year. <gasps> No, 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 no. I don't do speeches. 
But you can make this place look more amazing than any other berry. Oh, that is true. And the speech? Pfft, easy once we turn you into a speech-giving machine. Please? Oh. Speech-giving machine activated. Ugh, that sounded better in my head. Fine. What do I do? Use descriptive words. You aren't lighting a tree. You're illuminating the spirit of the season. Uh -huh. Look every berry in the eye with a look that says, Hey, you! Listen to what I'm saying! Uh, if you get nervous, just think of every berry in their underwear. Gross. And last but not least, smile, be yourself, speak from the heart, and you'll be perfect. You get all that? Uh. Great! Show us what you've got. <gasps> hey there. Arr! So... Arr! I, uh, wanna illuminate the... Lots of sparkberries! Underwear! We all have it! In summary, trees. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, that was... Well, see, this is why I never wanted to light the tree in the first place. The thing about being an outgoing berry is sometimes you forget not every berry is as outgoing as you. Um, Lemon? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk at all. I know, I know. Just, just listen. I shouldn't have tried to force you to do something you didn't want to do. You're perfect just the way you are. You're just so good at decorating, huh? Yeah, well, if I didn't have to give a speech, I'd love to. Why are you making that face? The thing about being an outgoing berry is you can speak up for your friends who don't like speaking as much by getting rid of silly rules like having to give a speech. <laughs> My pal Lemon is going to let her work speak for itself. <laughs> <laughs> now that was an awesome speech. Yeah, I am pretty awesome. Is it spaghetti? It's okay, Strawberry. Every berry needs to know how to get around the city on the funnel system. Luckily, you have me to teach you. It can be very complicated, so do exactly what I do and memorize everything I say. We'll start here at Rhubarb Station and take the Pineapple Express to... <gasps> Yo. Ah! Strawberry? Hi. Lime? Lime! I do. I'm a lost berry. Lost little berry, what you gonna do? Lost little berry, help is gonna find you. Hey there, you okay? Hi, I'm Strawberry Shortcake. Can you and your pet rat help me? Ferret, actually. He's Red Hot, and I'm Huckleberry Pie. We play here in the funnel system for all our fans. We can probably take a break. Thank you. I have no idea how the funnel system works. <sighs> Figuring it out is easy. You just have to do it. But I don't know what I'm doing. What if I mess up? Just try a little something new. And I promise when you do, won't be as scary as you thought. And you'll be fine and make it through. I feel a little overwhelmed and filled with fear. Oh, you'll be fine. Not sure what I should do. It's all unclear. Just take your time. But what Choose wrong and mess up this cute song. Well, then we'll start again. It's no big deal. Just try a little something new. And I promise when you do, you won't be as scary as you thought. And you'll be fine and make it through. So try a little something new. And I promise when you do, it's gonna be all okay. Cause I believe.
you know Be ready to choose your way And you'll be okay And if you're not We'll back it up and start again So try a little something new And I promise when you do It won't be as scary as you thought And you'll be fine and make it through So try a little something new And I promise when you do It's gonna be all okay Cause I believe System. Also, you are really talented. Music is my passion. <gasps> like baking for me. Baking? Well, eating is my second passion. Strawberry! Lime? Lime? I found you. Did this rat hurt you? Ferret, actually. And I'm fine. Huckleberry Pie helped me. He's a musician. Actually, Huck, why don't you come with us to the Berry Works? I'm sure every berry would love your music. Uh, sorry, Strawberry. I just can't disappoint my fans down here. Right. Well, at least let me give you a thank you, Cupcake. See ya! Mm. Mm. On second thought, uh, maybe it's time for Red Hot and I to expand our musical horizons. There are more cupcakes at the Berry Works, right? <laughs> <laughs> is for smoothest smoothie, most protein-packed smoothie, ooh, tootiest, fruitiest smoothie. Every berry cleared up pretty quickly for that one. Woo, woo! Wow, Orange, that is a lot of trophies. But not all of them. I've won every trophy at the Splendidly Scrumptious Smoothie Competition except one. Most creative smoothie. Huh, how come? I like structure, rules, goals. Creativity is just making stuff up. How can you win at that? Why are you looking at me like that? Orange needs a crash course in creativity. I mean, if only we knew the perfect berry to help her out. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> oh. uh, you sure about this, shortcakes? Blueberry's the most creative berry we know. She can totally teach you. Right, Blueberry? The first rule of creativity is... There are no rules! Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, just give her a chance. Yeah, give her a chance. <laughs> Who are we talking about? Meet the fruit. Feel the fruit. Taste the fruit. No! The fruit. None of this makes any sense. Ah! That's kind of pretty. You're getting it. Orange's creative side. Orange's inner artist could always sing. I just turned up the volume. Ooh, uh, how high did you turn it up? Berries, stop your blending. <laughs> Great job, Orange. Oh, that's mine. <laughs> What do we think? Does his face say, wow, this is so creative? Well... Uh, oh, it tastes like juicy socks. Maybe? It's okay, Orange. Most artists don't get the respect they deserve until they're dead. <clears throat> Before we declare a winner, we have an announcement. The judges decided to create an entirely new category for one of this year's more unique entries. So, the award for worst smoothie goes to 
Orange Blossom. <sighs> Worst smoothie? Created just for me? This is way better than most creative. My own category. Who's the best at being the worst? Oh, this yeah. bear right here. I guess that's the thing about creativity. It's not about being the best. But I am the best at being the worst. <laughs> it's about being you. Exactly. Art is a journey. Go with it. Business at the Extraordinary Berry is booming, which is fantastic. Just one teeny tiny problem. Oh, my teeny tiny oven. I can't bake fast enough to keep every berry happy, which is a good problem. But still, it is a problem. My cranberry jam says every problem has a solution. I don't know anything about fixing ovens, but I know some berry who does. So, Lemon, what do you think? You came to the right berry. I'll give you an oven like no berry has ever seen before. Uh, nothing crazy. A little bigger. Maybe a second oven rack? Yeah, yeah, sure. Oven rack. Got it. Okay. Let me know if you need any. And you're gone. I'm gonna turn that oven into a baking feast. Lemon, what did you do? It's really big and gray. I know. <gasps> That's glorious. Six burners, four oven racks, and... I hooked it up to the Sparkberry energy tubes in your truck! Powerful, energy efficient! This oven is not messing around! I guess I can work with this. With six burners, I can finally make every color of that rainbow fudge pad a shoe I wanted to try. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Lemon, let's see what your oven can do. Lemon really came through for me. I was afraid she'd get carried away and cause some kind of disaster. But I guess I should have trusted her. No, never mind. There it is. Um, Lemon, <laughs> maybe the oven is a little too powerful, I don't know. What do you mean? This is great! <laughs> Maybe I can turn it down. A little. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's uh-oh? What's uh-oh? Run! Fudge turned out great. I'll make a few adjustments. Smaller? Mm -hmm. Smaller. Less explosive. Duh! Less explosive. And pink. Pink? Oh, come on! Okay, pink. Introducing the Berry Berry Oven. Now this oven says strawberry shortcake. I adjusted the spark berry intake so the oven won't go kablooey. Still pretty powerful, though. Even if it is. Ugh, pink. Thank you, Lemon. Oh, little battle, I'm never gonna blend batter with this old mixer. Mixer, huh? I can take a look. What mixer? Oh, what? Did you say mixer? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just gonna stir this the old-fashioned way. Yeah, no more inventions needed here. <laughs> Snowberry. 